Good morning, folks. We've got a couple interesting stories today. Had a special video last night, and we will again later today. The sun resurged in activity overnight, but we should expect a bit of quiet coming the rest of the week. Let's run down the lot, starting with our star, and we find the last 24 hours began with activity top right as filaments snapped around and caused more of a coronal disruption than CME production. Coronal holes departing and another incoming from the left. Still waiting for the coronal hole solar wind stream at Earth, by the way. Let's take another look at some of the activity on the northern departing limb here in 304 angstroms. Most of the large sunspots are departing now, leaving only smaller ones across the north. We took a solid M-class solar flare event just a bit ago, peak on the right side of the X-ray chart here. It was actually a double event with both the northern and southern departing regions saying goodbye with the flash as they head for the far side. Less flaring expected in the coming days. First article on the docket today describes several items of general interest in paleoclimatology, but one of them is an apparent cycle of 23,000 years, which they're guessing is due to precession. Isn't that supposed to be 26,000 years? 23,000 is closer to the double of the 12,000 year cycle we cover often at this channel, but which takes two to return to the initial condition. Tilt and tilt back. If you know, you know. Second, the Brunt ice shelf cracked and broke, unsurprisingly. In the mainstream news, this is being used as a banner for global warming fears, when in reality, every historical instance of ice rafting results in cooling ice confined at the poles versus breaking off giant ice cubes and sending them into the ocean to cool them and freshen the waters. The more of these that occur, the closer we are to shifting back the other way. If you didn't catch last night's video, which you should watch by the way, we announced that the flood maps video is coming today. This afternoon, come back for some helpful visualizations on the shift we expect when the zenith of Earth's disaster cycle occurs. Also check out the link for our tour dates below the video. Grab tickets and come out and see us for our last traveling events before everything moves to Observer Ranch next year. And for those who selected the overnight option for Elgin, Arizona, make sure you've got a trailer or RV. It's going to be too cold to tent. We greatly appreciate your support. Again, grab tickets for our events at the link below. Check out our other resources. Come back in a few hours for the Flood Maps video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 30 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone